this kid is welcome back. Where are we going today? Florence so on the train. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a day trip. It's gonna be a pretty do, long day. Do, how do I know? Oh, I love Carl. Yeah.
Uh, if you they never really stop. They just kind of walk through on the way to snacks. But I thought you were going to get kind of seen. The Black Duke video. And it is. I mean, there have been shops along this for a really long time. And now, I don't know, having never shopped there, I'm not even sure if there's some jewelry. I want something sparkly. Who doesn't want something sparkly? I see that voice as my unicorn alter ego. So imagine I'm unicorn and say sparkly. Who doesn't want it? It's so beautiful. It's so fun to be here. I highly recommend Florence if you just do a day trip. It's just an interesting city. And it's, it has a very different tone than Rome. So they really are very different places, very unique places. Okay, well, that is the old fifty. Here we come. So like I was saying earlier, I so recommend, <clears throat> hold on, let me get on some sidewalk. I so recommend walking. I think you can walk for just a little way. I need to get us up on the sidewalk. You just heard real travel. Yes, my love, just for a second. Um, just wandering around. I've said that so many of these trips. Okay, come on, sweetie. You can just until the corner. You know, this is really the conversations that I tend to edit out, but I'm gonna leave this in because it's honest. Get out of the store for just time to climb up the flight of stairs. Why? Why are there stairs? It's pretty much the conversation we hear. Come on, sweetie pie. Okay, I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna try to get replenished on snackies. I'm trying to find a Palacio that I remember being pretty. And then from there, come on. Down snackies for you, Bubba Goo. Okay, just go on just down the side things. Not being afraid to explore. It's fun. So we found lunch, and it was it was okay. It was kind of a touristy thing, but that's okay. It was nearby this beauty, um, and Abraham got us pizza, which was fine, but just so subpar service. Um, so I'm glad we got our pizza in Florence at least. Um, and then we're gonna see what's open and what's available to see in here, because it is a Monday. So a lot of things, heads up, are closed on Mondays in Florence. Um, that are you know, the classic tourist uh, museums and things to see. So I know part of it's still, but I don't think the whole thing is. Um, I'm hoping we can see some of the gardens, which is supposed to be open on Mondays. Good job! Oh yeah, oh man. It's both super handy. Sorry, it's both super handy having this way, my love, the stroller, the older stuff. I mean, it's just hard to push. Lifted up everywhere, and I'm pushing. You know, a big kid. He's big for his age. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I love you, stroller, but I just want Abraham to not ride in you, and I just want to push our stuff around. Is that too much to ask? I know it is. It is. Okay, let's go in and see what we can see. these giant pieces of stones, big buildings, but things that you see every day, right? And I'm sure for folks that grow up with it, oh, it's totally normal, it's totally part of it. But I know that for me, just the sheer size of certain things, certain cuts of rock, slabs that were turning to sculptures, it always blows my mind because it is such a different era. And it's not the same era I would have wanted to live in. I don't, you know, idealize past history. I know how bad they were for men and women, unless you were like the upper echelon. Yeah, this is probably true now. But I think it's fascinating to see what all this accumulation of wealth at the very tippity top built. And 
what a testament it is to that inequality and to that history and to the amazing things that were created with it. That's what a big stone makes me think of. I know, honestly, though. Okay, we've got to go buy our ticket for the garden. Let's go see. Step. Okay, gotta push down. Yeah. How long have you been walking? One day? One day. All the days? All the days. He just told me that he'd been walking all the days. All the days. And I couldn't get him. I'm oh, sorry, I'm moving the camera. I couldn't make him walk further because I said, why don't you get out of the stroller and go look at this beautiful place. So today's a Monday. The museum part of the interior um, is closed here. But the gardens are open, which is what I really wanted to see anyway. So I'm pretty happy about that. Look at this gorgeous courtyard. How crazy is this that people built this as a space to exist in? You know? I think it's so interesting. It's really beautiful. Abraham loves all of the, um, all the fountains around here. we get to the gardens? Do we get them this way? We must go up this way. Yeah. Okay. It's got a taped off thing or a, what do you call it, a ribbon thing across the entrance. I was like, wait, this is a entrance. So I think you're just supposed to walk past it. But um, I don't know. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of Instagram photos. So keep your eyeballs beautiful. Insta, philosophy. You're like, please don't say that again. I'll, I'll try not to. I embarrass myself. Let's agree that that's a little creepy. Beautiful, but... There's the little floating statues in there. And they're fighting, too. Can I zoom in for that? There, you can see that better. A little spooky. That's beautiful. It's like a demon holding up. I guess the tree is life. The angels above. Oh my God! Jesus! Holy! He just fell in the fountain. Oh my God! Abraham! Holy! Hold on, take off your shoes. Jesus! Holy! Okay, take off the shoes. Hold on, we'll be back. Yes, what just you think just happened did. He managed to get through a fence and fall leg first into the fountain, but his legs and his hips got caught in the fence, so he didn't, he didn't fall all the way through. He just has soaking wet snow boots on that, I mean, last time he got those wet, I put them in the dryer and they still didn't dry for three days, so it's very wet shoes, and I guess he just has to wear them over the next couple of days, I don't know. He has another pair of shoes that we had a potty training accident in that he could wear, um, but yeah, even when you're watching them and you just blink away for a second, it's amazing the damage they can do. Poor little guy. At least they're really warm boots, even if they're wet, it's just like damp and warm. What's mommy doing? Are you going to be a mommy one day? Hey mom, I'm not talking about me like mommy. I'm talking about... Oh yeah, there are a lot of mommies here. It's pretty cool. It's beautiful. What a view. Isn't that a crazy view? It is so lovely. Um, I think he'll like this. It's somewhere outdoors that he can run around a little bit, have a good time. Mom can take too many annoying selfies and harass him. <laughs> it's just a lovely space to see. Heads up, there are a lot of not stroller friendly areas here, so I brought his stroller because he was just desperate for a stroller. And we did take, like I said, the train all the way up from Rome, so I had to bring it the full way. Um, and I imagine a lot of it's going to be me dragging the stroller behind me, empty without Abraham in it, because there's a lot of gravel that strollers don't go through. So if you're really stroller dependent, maybe skip this, but if you can do it without the stroller for a while, it is really nice. In case you wonder what climbing with a tutorial is like on this hill, 
Yep. You can make it. Basically, it's been a lot of. Uh, oh, Ma. Ma. Hold my hand. I'll pull you up. Sort of. <laughs> this is steep. Oh my goodness, it is steep. I'm really glad. So I, I dropped off the stroller, just parked it in front of the gift shop. There wasn't a sign that said I couldn't because there's just no way I'm hauling this up and down here. Um, that sounds like a really bad plan. I love it. Look at these little side trails. We're going to go off and do the side trails after we get to the top main portion. Uh, just because that's kind of the intense go up the hill. I like to think I'm in good shape, but this is a steep incline. Can you imagine trying to do this in heels? To our fabulous model. And you were like, oh, that's a pity. We shall go and do photos. Like, not in heels. Okay, I'm starting to give up because I'm dragging him and holding you. So, let's show you a little bit of a view, right? Look at water ducky. He's trying to feed the ducks leaves because he does love ducks. But uh, why don't you just sing the ducks a little song? Lala song's beautiful. Can we say how adorable? I'm gonna move you a little bit there, okay? And sweet it is that he sings that Lala song to the ducks. That is so sweet. Hey, Mom, you I'm listening to your song from here. It's beautiful sounding. I bet the ducks are coming towards you going, what a gorgeous song. Come see what they like to me. Oh, okay. When I say, let's go see, I mean, I'll go see. Okay, you wanna sing your song? Yes, let's see. La, la, la. That's a beautiful la, duck la, song. La, Look, they're over there on the other side, just listening. I love that fall kind of lingers oh, no. here in this more Mediterranean climate. I mean, it's still cold now, but you're still getting a lot of the fall colors. Okay. And kind of hey, Mom, I'm back at home. You, um, yes, love. You need to kind of get with me oh, my wee hibernator. Oh, he's building a leaf pile. It's pretty cool. Let me show you the beautiful view. Fountains and palaces and all sorts of fun views. Mom, look. And I must say, that guy might be the cutest. Oh, look at that little dude. Oh, you're, you have a recycle. Yeah. Oh, we can get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can get it. Oh, That's a nice for like a recycling center. I love a big pile of leaves. How many leaves are you gonna do? Oh, I think they take a while. I need to rehydrate. But you're Mr. Traffic Person. I know. Yeah. He's become a traffic coordinator. Oh no, okay. And he's making me go upstairs. Should we go up? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Bubba go. Okay. 
careful. It's kind of a nice additional free thing that they can do is just play in the mazes. Push if you have a kid that wants to play in the fountains and wants to fall. Are you going to fall on your way out, my love, Sukkot? Where is Emmy? You can do it. He looks very suspicious. He's like, why, why are you making me do this? I got to say, that's not too bad of a view. So it, it takes your breath away when you come up those steps that I was just complaining about. I heard everyone behind me. We all made the same because it's just so beautiful. Go ahead. Okay, YouTube. Yeah. Abraham noticed this little tiny, tiny building, and it's walled off. Mom. We aren't. We aren't allowed to go in there. What do you think that was for? Italian viewers, do you know? Well, I know Maybe put on a tour here, and you can tell me. What do you think it is? I know who this is. Who is it? Grandma. It's Grandma's house. I'm gonna tell Grandma that won't matter. No, not Grandma. <laughs> no, it could be for a naughty Grandma. Let's think about it. We'll do some research. I like research. I think research is the foundation to an intelligent brain. <gasps> Boom! Put that on a T-shirt and sell it at a mall's <laughs> answer shop. Uh -huh. Good job not being too messy. I'll be too messy. Oh no, you're gonna have to clean those off, Bubba Goo. No. No way. No, you aren't gonna clean them off? No. Uh-oh. No, don't lick me. No. The things that come out of my mouth no. No. on this. On any trip or any moment with Abraham we're like, what did I just say? Yeah. Love the area. He found his puddle, of course. It's necessary to jump that line. And since his boots are soaking wet already, I'm like, well, it's oh, the worst. Oh no. This garden has just amazing views from the angle. There's a vicious sword fight going on behind me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you know, do you love to see the city travel vlogs? Do you like to see gardens in a metro area? Do you like to see a 24 hour day trip like this one is? Where it's just what you can do jam packed into a day without going crazy because we didn't jam pack too much. We kind of. We kept it at a reasonable kid-friendly level. Yeah? I think it's for sound. They can play music. There's a little speaker there. Um, let me know in the comments. Tell me, because I would love to know um, as I make more and more of these travel vlogs, because it's, you know, a focus of this channel starting to be, um, along with everything else that I've already made, and we're, I'm keeping making those, of course. Um, you know, what kind of topics do you love to see? Let me know. I love showing travel and talking about it and just doing Day in the life travel pieces too. Uh oh, there's a traffic jam, and I'm so cold. Oh yeah, I think we have to start scootering into the city center, um, and vaguely start thinking about our train because I think our train leaves in two hours maybe, two and a half. So by the time we've seen a few more sights, I think we've got our skadoodles. Alrighty, come skadoodle with us.
some point we're just gonna wait for our train just to get in there. There are signs and then the signs disappear and I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know my map. I know. Hello, my direction sense is not bad. The pigeon. See? It means we get in a great man. Whilst I get totally lost. Somewhere. I have 
probably this one in London, and that's simply check-in time and location. I haven't seen it yet. And then one that I actually had to check out of after one day in um, in Barcelona. It was it was a, it was a really rough Airbnb, and I didn't I didn't get one way back. It was from vacation with his owner. Now Sammy's, yeah. of course. Um, and those are kind of some of my nightmare scenarios with vacation rentals because I've been I love staying. Um, and there's always there's those ones that are like great and that, that keeps you wanting to do vacation rentals. And there are other ones that are like oh, so I just want some good ideas. So I would love to hear your comments or horror stories of vacation rentals gone what? Everybody had a time watching us that it inspires you to go out and see Florence with your little monkeys. Oh, he just found a lettuce leaf. I'm in trouble. Oh, that lettuce leaf is me. Uh oh. You know, get out there, spread with your family, have big adventures. Yes, love? Okay, that's okay. I can get you something else. You can have your cookie too while I find you something else to eat. I would love to get you more chips. Let me go grab you some. More chips, my Can I hear it, please? Please. Good job. Let me go grab some for you. Because um, it's, it's so much fun. And it always ends up taking more time and costing more money than you think it's going to. But it's also these great, wonderful memories. He had, a, he had despite all of his whining, a really good time today. You can check out all the links in the description box down below. I was going to point to the camera, but somebody is watching it. Bubba Goo. Oh. Click on the book links. That's a great way to check out all my writing, my novels, and now that was that I write. Follow along on Instagram and Twitter. Hold on, I'm, checking, I'm taking off somebody's jacket in case you were like, what is she doing? Uh, <laughs> and I link to my homeware um, t shirts, mugs, pillows, all sorts of stuff that I designed, the little shop that I run. Um, and that's a great way to help support these vlogs and uh, get something fun for your house or get a fun book to read, give it as a present. Um, I really appreciated the, the positive reviews that I've gotten on both of them. So until next time, hey, thank you all so much for subscribing and being a part of our little online shoe taking off because the shoes are wet because we fell out of found community. Hey, it's real life. Love y'all.